Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back. That's right, today is the day. This is the moment of truth. We are, in fact, filling the pond. Behind me is the backyard pond. If you're new here, this has been an ongoing, let's call it adventure, because this is a positive day. We're going into it optimistic, hoping that it's going to work. But essentially, last summer, we decided to dig a hole back here. We packed it, we filled it, and it leaked, which left us with two options, either, well, actually three, as Banzo knows the third one very, very well. Option one is roll out a liner, similar to what we did over there at the hatchery, and basically, can make it in like a swimming pool and hope that it doesn't leak and hopefully it seems right. Option two would be bringing clay and bet night or option three is the dirt bike. Did you see that Banjo? No, I'm telling him about it. You didn't see it? <laughs> Pull it up. Wait, you didn't see it? Are you serious? No. You didn't see? I put you in the video. It's right in the beginning. Right in the beginning. I can't believe you missed it. No. I, you know option, your option three is what you are. Obviously we didn't go with it even though Banjo looks like he would have a good time. Dirt bike tracking. So right, we, hey, we can still go back. This is your final month. Speak now, forever hold your peace. So we are gonna be failing it. So what we did is we went to option two, option B, which was bet night and clay. And so the first episode we clayed everything. The second episode we put bet night in another layer of clay. We basically made an Oreo cookie sandwich with clay, with bet night. It cost like 150,000 bucks, way overkill, but it's what you guys told me to do. So if this doesn't work today, I'm blaming you guys, okay? So we've got some hoes. You like that. We did this once. Yeah, we did it once and we're about to do it again. And Banjo's got the, the wood. Or something so this is where the outflow goes the other thing that you might have seen in the last episode is we actually we marked out everything so this is gonna be three foot deep that's six foot that's ten foot that's actually 18 feet right there at the very very bottom it's 18 foot deep so we marked out the entire thing there's flags everywhere so if you want to see that it's actually I'll start with a picture here this is like the design of it so we've got the beach we've got the dock we've got spawning base we're hopefully gonna have some rock piles and some trees and stuff like that but this is essentially the topo map for this pond is what you guys are seeing now and so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna start filling it and if you couldn't tell how big it is i mean it's 18 foot deep it's you know two plus acres big wide that's a lot of gallons of water so today's episode is not going to consist of us filling it completely but our goal is to let it run for a couple weeks get a decent amount on the bottom cut it off and see do we have a leak will it actually hold before we you know keep filling it up and put a bunch of structure because that's the thing is once you start putting structure in there it's gonna be really hard to come back and repack it you ready wow this is crazy. I didn't think this moment would ever happen where we get to fill this sucker up again. Look at that. Yeah, that's all right. That works. If you're wondering why the quality audio visual might suck, I'm filming on an iPhone because we didn't bring the camera today, but that's not going to stop us from making videos for you guys. So I promise the rest of this video will be on a higher definition camera than what we've got dangling here. But as of right now, we, we just want to urgently get this water going because it's going to be a long process. So we literally stopped construction like two days ago. It is now time to fill it with water. So we've got this little pad thing here. Do we want to put that down first? First or that down first, do you think? Probably this under it. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that under it, maybe. So I got some like painter's plastic. And basically, we're gonna make a slip and slide banjo. So if you want to get naked and oiled up or something, this would be the good time. Can you imagine? I just thought about that. What if we put the plastic all the way down there and just turn it into a slip and slide? Right into a mud bath? Big Jim get excited. He likes that. So this is supposed to keep from the erosion. We don't want the water to like basically if it eats out where the clay is, then you don't have clay or bent night, and then you're pretty much screwed. So this is hopefully gonna prevent that from happening. Is it gonna do that? I don't know, because I think it's gonna run straight off of there and it might wash out we were ideally going to be dumping water right there that's 18 foot deep but that's gotta be better than nothing right you might need like a pallet or a cinder block i've got a cinder block you could put in front of it and it would like disperse it a little bit i say we go turn it on and see what happens hey tim all right we just turned it on boys let's go see what she looks like how's that going it's gonna take a while Rip. And to another video, before we jump in, I gotta let you know that BetterHelp is sponsoring today's video. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist that is trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased advice. With BetterHelp, you can have your therapy session as a phone call, as a video chat, or even via messaging if you prefer that. Whatever's the most comfortable version of therapy for you. I'll have a link down in the description down below if you guys wanna go check it out, or you can just go to betterhelp.com slash flair to get 10% off your first month. To get started, you fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you'll get matched with your therapist in most cases within 48 hours or less. Then you'll be able to schedule therapy sessions that's at a convenient time for you. If the therapist you first match with doesn't feel like the right fit, which can be common when starting therapy, you can easily switch to a new therapist at no additional cost without stressing about insurance, who's in your network, or anything like that. BetterHelp can match you with one of their 30,000 therapists in their network, which gives you access to a wider range than what might be available just in your area. 
Over 4 million people have started using BetterHelp to start living a happy and healthier life. If you think you might benefit from therapy, check out BetterHelp. Like I said, a link down in the description down below, or you can just go to betterhelp.com slash flair, and you can save 10% on your very first month. Huge shout out to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. It's brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do what I do every single day, which is big for videos for you guys at home to enjoy. So that being said, let's get back to the video. Alrighty, folks. Well, while the pond does pond things, we are going to give you guys an animal update, okay? Where are them ducks at? Did they already get kitsch out or no? Ralph, did you already curb stomp them ducks, Ralph? Ralphie, where did you put the duck? What did you do? He's horny. Ralphie, where'd the ducks go? Oh, he burped. I'm concerned. I'm concerned he just consumed them. Ralphie, where did the ducks go, Ralphie? What are you getting in there? Are you getting in there? Yeah, I gotta find the ducks. What happens if Ralph scissor kicks you? Maybe, maybe give him some grain. Give him a second. Hang on. We gotta tame. Look at him. Look at him. He just drooled all over. He's gonna get your ass. Hang on. Let me let me throw some grain in here. Get the, the beast tamed. And we gotta go see if our ducks are alive. You guys missed it. We traded three goats, three, four rabbits, and three roosters for two ducks. Yeah, I know. It wasn't the best. It wasn't the deal of the century for me. That, that that lady we got them from though she really made out like a bandit but we're gonna see if these guys are still alive we just chucked them in here honestly kind of hoping for the best but huh? jimmy jimmy come here jim what do you think romeo you guys think felicia hey dale Hell don't nice. don't do it dale yeah. all right they got they got some grain They'll, they should be preoccupied for the time being so there's a bunch of the chickens that look all fired up they seem to be doing pretty good but i want to see have the ducks gotten ko'd or are they still alive and what are they doing? What, I don't know. What, like, we could build them their own little pen, but I also feel it. Like, oh, I, wait, I heard one. Hang on. Shh. I swear. I heard a, are they in the trailer? Oh, there they are. Oh, there they are. Yeah, see, I heard them. See, I wouldn't lie. I heard them. What are you guys doing? Look at you. Get them. See, they didn't die, okay? All you haters out there. Flair, you're just going to kill them. Look. Look at them hanging out. I don't know why we have ducks, but we do. Hey, why are you scared? Look at the turkey. Look at the turkey. He's mobbing. He, he's mobbing. He's gonna come kick some ass. He's straight mobbing. Ricky. Ricky says, you come in here without hanging out with me first? What up, Ricky? Go do something. Go eat some... Oh, you see where the turkeys be roosting. This is where they be roosting. See, look at the poop, little poop stack we got going on here. If you put that horn in my ass, we're gonna have a problem. Yeah, it looks like they sit up here, and then they go poop right here. Look what's in Oh, there. hang on. Ralph, stay occupied. Like look this. at this, dude. Oh, harvest. Straight harvest. Look at the mother load we just got. Dude, that's just straight hard. Yeah. Rick, oh. get out of the go. Get out of the trail. Yeah. Get out of the trail. Bad go. Nobody Bad. wants you in. Get out, Rick. I'm gonna harvest these suckers. Oh god, yeah. Dang. That's a solid nest. These are nice and clean. Look at these suckers. This is good. I've, I've been needing some, some breakfast here. I'm gonna have to stick it in the hoodie pocket and don't don't squat, man. They're gonna need, I've done that before and then you yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. warm him. Oh yeah, dude, we're straight. So how many I got? I got two, I got four, I got five. Dude, there's a lot. Six, seven. I wonder if it, you, I, it's gotta be just one, right? Oh, hang on. Oh. Uh-oh. No, no. Another one broke on it. Oh yeah, that one. That one's gonna have to do that. Throw it at Rick. <laughs> I should. <laughs> Wham! You mad? He was like <laughs> in the ass. <laughs> what? <laughs> Huh? What's up? I don't take that out of context. I should probably bleep that at the, le at the least. At the least. At the least. I'm clipping it. At the, don't clip it. At the least, you gotta bleep that, right? I didn't mean it. Now, now that I think about it, that was a terrible thing to say. Okay. But I truthfully, I didn't. I, okay, I take it back. I didn't mean that. I meant like him with oh, the yeah, egg. Okay, okay, okay. Stop. Okay. Okay. All right. I regret. I regret what I said. Oh, All right. there it is. All right, these, these, three these three. I'm gonna take these out. That way, maybe they won't just keep laying in here. That freaking pterodactyl coming home. Guess what's he doing? They're laying right there too. Dang it! Get in the coop. <laughs> Why did I build you this ten thousand dollar coop for nothing? Rick, I'll do what I said I was gonna do in there <laughs> with the egg. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, he's good. Oh, oh, he, oh, he's helpful. Oh, oh. Oh. Hey, quit doing that. Oh. PG site. Family friendly. Family friendly. You like that? <laughs> What's he doing? You see him doing that? He just starts straight thumping the ground. <laughs> All right, you think this guy laid any eggs or no? Probably. Felicia, what the hell's going on? Uh oh. Uh oh. Pterodactyls on the move. Big boy Ralph. <laughs> dinosaur to me. Big boy Ralph. He's pissed. Oh, he's coming. Come here, Ralphie. Come here, Ralphie. Rick, get out of here. You're a big boy, Ralphie. I didn't see any eggs, no. I like this little crowd. It provides a le le level of Maybe safety. Hop over. Yeah. He's going to keep running around with them. I don't do with my satchel here of huevos. You see these suckers? <laughs> these are getting, these are giving. Rick, Go I'll do away. it too. I'll do it. What do you think, buddy? Go away, Rick. You have a good time. Well, anyways, our ducks are alive, and there's a rogue chicken that lays just <laughs> a heat. Hey, no. Quit. No. Ricky, that's just whoa! <laughs> just right on the forehead. <laughs> whoa! He wants one. You want an egg? You want an egg, big boy? Oh, you just want scratchies, don't you? 
You just want scratchies. Oh, who's a big boy, Ricky? Hey. Can we make Romeo stiff? I think we could get curbs on by Ralph, <laughs> if that's what you're after. Well, Carol starts swinging horns, and the next thing you know, <laughs> Ralph's doing one of these. <laughs> you go for it, pal. Dare it up. Uh-oh. <laughs> Starting to make a move. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> is he going down? Oh, no, he just got a little stiff. He got straight-legged on you. There he is. He's still mobile. You get him. Jimmy, look at Jimmy under the trailer. Jimmy, give me that nuts, Jimmy. Man, you better be ready to run from that right. Look at him. <laughs> He's pissed. Don't get him, Jimmy. Uh-oh. I'm fine. Are you, though? Come here, Ralph. <laughs> Come here, Ralph. Don't kill Banjo. Not today, at least. Come here, Ralph. We got to make it another day. Come on, Ralphie. What are you doing here, buddy? <laughs> this thing's a dog. You want an egg? Well, he put it in his mouth. No. Oh, he don't like it. You like anything, don't you? Well, folks, figured we'd show you guys the uh, animal pen here, give you an update. The ducks are alive. The chickens are, in fact, laying eggs. The baby goats, look at the baby goats. They're doing good. And hey, since we got rid of all the boys, Theo, been looking as Theo. Should we go see Theo? Maybe yeah, we should go. Let's go check on Theo. Here, Theo. Look at Theo's broads. Also, you know what's wild? We never had babies. No. We had to time that up right. Yeah. One of them wasn't ready, boy or girl. But I mean, look at Big Mom. Hang on. She's sitting right here for you. Look at Big Mom on the mound of hay. Golly. She has not gotten any smaller. What are smaller. they digging to? I'm trying to get to the gym, get a piece of ass. I don't know what he's doing. Or Theo, not Jim. Jim. I mean, That's weird. I've seen Jim, Jim don't, you know, Jim don't. He don't care. discriminate. How's that? Uh, you winning? Nope. Theo, come here, Theo. Pork chop. Get him, pork chop. Deb. How's the weather back there, Deb? Get him, pork oh, chop. What is going on over there? We were getting a little. Full. What are they doing? They're yeah, checking it out. Going. They are getting a little bit more fret. Like every time I come down, they think I'm gonna give them grants, so they do come and hang out a little bit. But. Theodore, what's it like being a bachelor again, buddy? You're all by yourself, big guy. How's Yo. it feel? We started fighting with your sons. We took them to Kathy's, okay? We kept you because we like you. Come here, buddy. What's going on, pal? Oh, hi, big boy. Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Big boy, hi Theo. See, that's why we kept Theo. Yeah, he's chill. Theo's a freaking unit. Look at them nails, or he'll kill you if you, if you cross him. Look at that, dude. <laughs> you on Theo's bad side. You on Theo's bad side, they'll take you out. All right, big boy, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Hey, no, what I, no, <laughs> you, you thought that was a snack. All right, well, animals are good, Theo's good, rabbits are good, pigs are still doing pig things, babies are doing baby things, Ralph's and Ralph things. With that being said, we'll see you guys back at the pond. What's going on folks? It has now been two full days of filling and this is what it looks like. As you can tell, we've got water, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, look who we got dangling behind me. We can stock this sucker today and I am here to check how deep it's gotten and we are going to put this thing to the test, okay? So a lot of you guys have been commenting, Flair, why are you feeling it? Why aren't you adding structure first? Because I've got like PTSD with the, the pond thing, thinking it's gonna hold and it not hold. And so the last thing I wanna do is cover this pond with riprap and rocks and trees and boulders and cars and anything else we can think to put in here for structure and then it not work okay and then we got to drain it then I got to come here and pick everything up and then I don't even know what I do at that point fill it in and call it a day or turn it into banjo's dirt bike track because you guys thought that was a good idea the first time so that's the plan today it's been filling for a full 48 hours and this is what it looks like it actually looks fantastic I mean look how look how clear it is you can see right through it I was super nervous with the clay that it was going to be this mucky nasty like you know i just didn't want a dirty pond this is like crystal 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 clear it looks absolutely amazing so this is what it looks like now like so we're going to we're going to see how deep it's gotten in 48 hours i can already tell you right now it's holding better than it did the first time why are you here you want to get out and play or what come on loose all right, probably shouldn't let you do that. All right, well, you're about to get really muddy. Yep. All right. Okay. Lucy likes it. What do you think, Luce? Is it cold? Get him, Lucy. Get him. You get him. So, uh, I can already tell you there's more water in here in the first 48 hours than we had at the, uh, the, not the other pond, but this pond, the first time we filled it in like a week. So, I'm telling you right now, it's holding better, but the real question, is it holding 100% or are there still going to be leaks? And really, right now, this is a test. We're going to test it once just so I feel good about coming in in the next couple days and putting in structure and stuff like that but really the big test is when this thing's full because what i've learned through this process is the pressure of the water the weight of the water is mostly down okay yeah sure the dam holds back water to some extent but reality is the water pushes down more than anything and what we learned going to the neighbor's pond is that his pond at eight foot deep is totally fine no leaks whatsoever he cranks that sucker up to like 12 or 13 feet and all of a sudden bam he's got a leak because it, it punctures through the liner so there being only I guess we're about to find out how much water. I mean, this is, you don't know how good this feels. Why are you here? 
Why are you swimming, Lucy? You don't know how good this makes me feel, okay? Knowing that this is potentially gonna be our forever pond here at the house. Lucy gets to come down here and swim whenever. Now that she knows this is here, anytime I let her outside to go pee, she's probably gonna come down here and I'm gonna get pissed. But as far as depth goes, this was the deepest spot. I mean, I'm easily waist deep, okay, here. I mean, this post right here, this flag, I guess I could pull this flag out. This flag is completely, oh, just kidding, it's not, okay. I lied, that flag actually means nothing. What it can do though, is I can actually, oh, maybe. I don't know if I can trust the flag. I've got paint if I can't. I was gonna put this flag right at the water surface. There you go, perfect. See, it's just, and then when I shut the well off, I can come back tomorrow and see how much the water's actually gone down. And so, you know, right now we've got, I'd say about two and a half, probably three foot here in the deepest spot, which is pretty solid. I mean, you guys saw the first setup where we had the wood and the tarp. I mean, this is what it looks like now. I mean, you don't need it anymore, essentially. It's completely submerged. You can see that we still have the water on right now. I mean, that's, that's as fast as it comes out. Right there. That's it. It ain't a whole lot, okay? It's slow and steady, isn't that right, Luce? Now, now, now you need a bath, okay. So it is slow and steady, but this is what it looks like. I'm still super excited. I'm pretty optimistic, okay? I feel pretty good. I mean, what else can you do besides two layers of clay and bentonite? The old clay sandwich, the old clay Oreo cookie, okay? That's what we've got 48 hours in. I mean, it may not take, if this holds, okay, if this holds, it may not take as long to fill this thing as I was thinking. I understand it's gotta go out a lot more and we've got to go up right this is 18 feet deep we've got to go up another 15 feet and it's got to be wider so if we gained let's just say we gained two foot in two days okay a foot per day okay but that's only at the circumference of this which is probably not even an acre okay maybe a little bit less than an acre so you know in theory you if this was out as big as it is you would get to 18 foot in nine days now it's gonna go out a lot more so I mean dude there's a chance there's you telling me there's a chance there's a chance that this thing is completely plumb full this summer, which is gonna be my goal. My goal is to keep this thing filled, you know, and have it at least be completely done and fully stocked in the summer. We can put minnows in it today. Well, we're not going to, because we gotta, but you know what I mean? We, we made that mistake once. Remember we stocked it? Remember that? We put the bluegills in here, we put the minnows in here, and then guess what happened? Rip. We had to take them all out, okay? So I'm trying to avoid that. So we could put pin minnows in this today. I would say within like a week, you could probably start putting some bluegills in it. We're gonna wanna wait on the bass. The bass are gonna be probably the last thing that we stock. You're gonna want your, your forage base to be super super abundant before you put your largies in. I think largies you're gonna wanna stock in closer to fall, like September, and bluegills you're gonna wanna stock in like May, so then they get spawned. And I think you can probably put your minnows in whenever. So here's the plan. I'm gonna go shut off the well, okay? I know, it breaks my heart, cause I would love nothing more than to see this thing get even more full each and every day. But since we've got two days of water filling it, I'm gonna see what two days of water not filling it does, and I'm gonna see how much this thing goes down in those two days. And if it, it's gonna go down some. It's gonna have to go down some. There's gonna be some seepage, but the biggest thing is it, as long as it can get filled quicker than it seeps eventually it all should seal up so that's really gonna be the test is will this thing draw down a bunch of water over the next two days there's only one way to find out and that's to turn off the well so I'm gonna go turn off the well and we will see you guys in two days all right, well, while the pond is potentially draining, hopefully not, fingers crossed, I am here at the Beefcake Jerky HQ because Banjo is in fact like, look at, wow, all right, heading out, out, heading busy. out the, look, what, I didn't even, whoa, Banjo, Banjo's been cam girling it up, he's live on TikTok right now, look at all these orders, holy smokes, Banjo, buddy, what do you get, who's, have you taken off any articles of clothing? No, thank you, man. How'd you get, how'd you get so many orders? Look at all these orders. These are all with shipping labels on them, ready to go, that is crazy. But I wanted to give you guys an update because we've gotta wait two days to see if the pond drains, so in, during these two days, we are obviously gonna be doing some work. So, Banjo's live on his TikTok right now. This is- Leo Lewis, shout out to this you. This is what the, this Order is what it looks done. like. Behind the scenes, shout out, behind the Big scenes. Junior, give him a little dance. They got a cowboy hat on, yeah. Yeah, there you go. They, 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 you know, they like Big Junior dancing. Get it, get it. Got, get we got more it. people, we got 2,000 people that just cause Big Junior did that. Sheesh. Yeah. So Banjo's live on TikTok, but we keep getting kicked off TikTok. You guys remember we talked about this on the video when we went on YouTube Live, which we've been doing, but they don't, for some reason, because we're not the certified like Beefcake Jerky account, we're going live on my account, we're going live on Banjo's account, they keep putting us in TikTok jail, okay? But what we need to do, I, we were talking to people at TikTok, they said, you just need to go live on the Beefcake Jerky account and make sure it's verified, and then you'll be let out of jail. And they said, okay, how do we do that? They said, you have to have 5,000 followers, and we're at like 3,000. So what I need you guys to do is to go follow Follow B 
beefcake jerky on TikTok, okay? If you find my TikTok, I follow that account. I'm only following like two accounts on there. You'll see it. It's only got like two or 3,000 followers. There's two accounts out there. Only one of them is ours. But if you can follow it and get us up to 5,000 followers, we can go live on TikTok and get out of TikTok jail because TikTok offers insane deals. If you guys don't know about it, they're doing like 50% off plus free shipping. It's pretty crazy. So what do you got going on there? One of you guys that follows the beefcake jerky TikTok will pick one of you guys randomly and we'll send you one of these. One of the crates. Full to the brim. Full of jerky. All right. Well, if you guys go, if you're one of the new followers, if you're on TikTok, look up beefcake jerky. Go find the account. It's the official beefcake jerky account. It's only got three or four reels posted to it. Four reels. You'll see it. There's four reels. If there's more than that, it's not us. Follow it and you'll get entered to win a beefcake jerky crate that's loaded to the brim. But just want to give you guys an update. This is what's going on behind the scenes. The boys are absolutely cranking out jerky orders through the TikTok shop. Like I said, they're doing crazy discounts right now. So that's just a little update. We're gonna, I'm going to help these guys get these orders out the door and we're going to wait 48 hours and we'll see you guys back at the pond. Hopefully it did not drain. You guys stay tuned. Hey, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the moment of truth, okay? How you feeling? I got a hole. Huh? Yeah, you think yeah. the hole's gonna get wet or no? Is it that deep? Is it ass deep? It was about, it was about sack deep the uh -oh. other day, yeah. That's uh -oh. about sack you, deep. You, you could you use the zoom feature on the camera, <laughs> maybe, yeah. We don't need you to get, get wet, but all right, so the well has been turned off for officially 48 hours. It's been exactly two days since I came out here, gave you guys the update, turned it off, and I marked it. You saw the flag, but I came back and I took, I took a spray paint and I marked it with spray paint. So we have a, a hard line. And well, this is what she looks like. Now, this doesn't look great. I'm gonna be honest like this it looks it looks like it's uh it looks like it's gone down So if you look around the edge, it doesn't look great And that's why because you know normally it's like you make your little pot now. I mean, yeah, I'm oh, sure yeah. you can get you get your get your spice Ooh, pot you big Junior. You guys like that? Awesome. I don't, okay. <laughs> I mean, that's clay, son. Yeah. I don't know what else to tell you. So, you know, normally when you mark waterline, you put a flag at the waterline. Yeah. If I did that, I would be crying right now because this does not look good at all. But I was, I'm going to call myself smart here for a second. I marked the depth on a pole and with the flag. Okay. Is it? <laughs> yeah, I could have imagined. It ain't spawning yet. No, nah, that ain't going to spawn anytime soon. So I marked it and now we know exactly how much it's actually dropped because I'm thinking maybe all of the, the the water rim we got is satchamiation, okay? Well, this is what we're dangling with. You guys remember, I marked it. Okay, I didn't show you that, but I marked it, but the flag, remember the flag was just underwater? It's right there, okay? If it dropped anything, it'd be like a 16th of an inch, and I would chalk that up to uh, evaporation or something, but it is exactly where we left it 48 hours ago. <sighs> like, you have no idea how good I feel right now. No, Cause, dude, from, I'm like, you, obviously you see the house, okay? So I'm over there naked in the shower, and I look out the window, and I see this wet ring well i was naked you you clothed like while you showered i like the color of the water really it looks like a rock quarry so from my house i could see the band of water and i just considered never coming down here again and just acting like it wasn't a thing i'm really glad that i marked it with that flag that flag right there just boosted the morale for the day ladies and gentlemen because i'm gonna go ahead and say it ain't leaking does this mean we can stock it now I mean, I'd say, huh? You gotta go swimming. No. I don't think you realize this water's like 38 Why degrees, maybe. Degrees. Like, this is so cold. But yeah, you're right. Minnows could go in here, especially, we gotta turn that sucker back on. With fresh water, I mean, this is plenty deep for minnows, anyhow. It's about, I don't know, two and a half, three foot deep or so. Plus, it's fresh water. I mean, I think we're pretty much ready to stock. So, I think the plan now, we gotta get the structure figured out. You guys have been commenting on the videos what we should do. We, we like the idea of bringing the car from the ditch into here and placing it. Now, you might be thinking, well, Flair, how are you gonna do that now? because it's wet. You get that big excavator, I could drop that car right there on that if I wanted to. I could pretty much reach anywhere on this pond with the excavator. So it ain't a big deal if we want to turn the water on and just get ahead of it a little bit. But from a structure standpoint, we're thinking of doing a series where we get a bunch of items and figure out if it will turn into structure or not. Okay? Like cars, play sets, maybe we build a castle or something. Banjo, Junior's what do you think? Truck. Ooh, that'd be... That'd, Junior's house. I think that would structure <laughs> great. So comment here. down below, what should we sink in here? We've got 18 foot of depth to, to work with here, folks. And, the, you know, it's the deepest spot here, but we can also put, you know, rocks and boulders and trees and lay down. I'm talking about cool stuff. I understand we're going to put bushes and we're going to put boulders and rocks. And we're going to put pea gravel. And we're going to build a beach. We're going to do all those things. But what would be like kind of crazy? Because then I started to think, I'm like, you imagine when this thing is full. Minus when Jake and I just walked around, it's actually really clear. Is your butt wet? A little damp? A little damp. A little damp. Yeah. It's actually super clear. If it stays this clear, could you imagine either scuba diving or taking the underwater drone down there and seeing like catfish and bass 
swimming inside of a car. Like, how crazy would that, that be? That seems more up our alley. I don't think you or me are scuba diving. Nah, I ain't swimming. <laughs> okay, we got the we have the submarine for a reason, dang it. Because I ain't trying to get in the water. So, we need your guys' help. What should we sink in this? We've got, you know, at least a few months. But, I mean, that's, that's quite a bit of water in just a couple days of filling. And then a couple days of nothing. And it's exactly where we left it. Again, I think what happens is it took a little bit of a little seepage. And it looks like it's gone down, but it actually hasn't. So, we're going to kick the well on. Look at this. this stuff's dry as heck. Yeah. It's got to soak up. It's got, a it's, bit. Gotta do, yeah. it's gotta do a little soak. But comment down below what we should sink in this sucker, and we will pick the best ones. We'll go source those items wherever they might be, Facebook Marketplace, okay? Order them from Alibaba or like uh what you, what's that other Timu. one? Timu. You're a big Timu guy. Should we get something from Timu? Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's get something from Timu. Maybe we'll order something from Timu and we will sink it in the bottom of the pond. But officially the answer is the pond does hold water for now. Now we gotta keep in mind, as it gets deeper, there's gonna be more pressure. But right now we got two foot. So worst case we have it, worst it. case we just got a little hatchery down there. But let me know what you guys want us to sink. We will catch you on the next one and peace. <laughs>